good day hello and again thank you so much for subscribing and or resubscribing and for those who have ordered this thank you so much for ordering the Miss Gregoria's happy birthday pop-up box um yeah pop-up box so yeah let's start we will start with part one that's this template we're just gonna fold all score lines. This one is gonna be easy. I'm just gonna fold all score lines like that. Very, very, very easy. And there you go. Do that for do that for part two as well. My phone, my camera keeps shutting me down. I don't know why. Part two. Now part three. Before we, I've tried for the. I look. I had to um, adjust or how do you say that? Um, yeah, adjust my template because this is not supposed to be, um, this is supposed to be attached here. So I had, did not have score lines there, but yours does. I just noticed it, but first we're going to fold the score lines here, the bottom and at the top. And this one has to go front, like that. Okay. Before we do this, that's going to be a bit harder, but I think if we get, because they're so, so tiny, you know what you could do? If you have this 12 by, 12 by 24 cutting mat, then I would recommend using that. What we have to do with this is the first score line at the top with yours. You have to fold it up. Oh, mine broke. Uh, I mean, this cut through because it was just a solid score line. I forgot to adjust that apparently. I didn't notice it until now after cutting it. But, oh well. And then the second layer of, uh, second line of score lines. This has to be going up front as well. Just have to be a bit careful. Use for it with gen uh, gentle like that. Is lifting it up. You see what I'm doing? This is another finger lifting it. Same with this. Oh, chips and it broke. <laughs> be careful though. I'm going with my tweezer behind those letters and then trying to fold them up. And if it yours breaks like mine just did, don't worry, it will be fine. And then, because this layer's top, this is, let's call it a strip, on top of them, between the letters, that need to be lifted up, just gently twisting it. And you have to maneuver it that way that you place your tweezer between letters. I'm 
in this case I'm pushing this up and then the letters down and at the bottom you see what I'm doing here this has to go up and this has to go up and that has to go up and then you have here the side that needs to go up as well This needs to go down. You see it? And this needs to go up at the side as well. This needs to go up. You see it? And then there's between the letters. This also needs to go up. And then the strip between the letters, you need to put those up gently, careful, careful. Okay, once you have fold the score lines, what you can do is just fold them like this. Sort of stain. All we need is start. And then the last strip here. Also have to fold up gently. And then you can straighten it again with your hobby twister. And then this one, of course, the same. I'm broke, but it's. I think that's okay. Now, if your breaks too here and there, as long as it's not everything that breaks, it is fine. Don't worry about it because it's very intricate. Again, if you're having, this is why I recommend if you would like make it bigger if you have the 12 by 12 cutting mats. Um, for this one we are going to just fold it like this. This is actually this is the bottom. And this is the this is the bottom that's the top. Let's fold them like that. So we're gonna plug in here. Oh wait hold on.
and the other side do the exact same thing. There, Just make sure your glue is dry. Continue. There. Oh, maybe we have to place the strips here already. Yeah, let's do that and so we can guide it through. Sorry, guys. Let's mark these parts. And now we can. Properly place the side panels just like that. And now this side, and I'm going to in here. This is the one with the curved flap. And then we have this side thing that we have to fold inwards. There. And we might have to also apply a bit of glue here or else it won't stick. Might have want to hold this and press it tight. Let this. One is positioned. I'm gonna take part two, which we will fold. Okay, I think that's how it goes. Um, let's go there. This is the oh, up in here. Lines here is very, I don't get that. Oops, oh. like that is still. Oh, 
I'll just make sure yours is okay. You're adjusted. Be like that. Okay. Now when we have pulled with all of this. So again, if I go okay. Hold on. Yes. This is so weird. You don't have to struggle like this. I will have to. I'm going to adjust score lines here. Don't worry. First things first, so I do here. So weird because I did not have issue with I don't know what happened. Because I did not have issue with the other one. It's just so weird. Again, here or there, up to you. Do everywhere, and I still don't have wet wipes. So annoying. There. Next. This is so strange. Really, 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 really odd.
figure out how many to the left it has to be before. Zero point four. So weird. Oh well, thank you for bearing with me. Hope this thing happens. I think I'm about to script because the other one was perfectly fine. This is the second one I'm filming. No, no. Don't believe me. Look, no. see? I'll just make sure yours is fine. So you're probably seeing me struggling with you don't have so promise. But there are ways to adjust it. As you can see, I'm just using my ruler. Okay. So, now we've done that. It's attached. Mm. This. this first. Let's go back to part one. And close this. <clears throat> but in this case, we are applying glue here and here. there and there like that hold it press it hold it there let it dry should have done that earlier I forgot I'm sorry This gets attached here. Okay. Oh, I'm not dry yet. Just gonna apply glue. Here. 
echo chamber. Ah! No, not there. What was I thinking? Oh, I did it wrong. It needs to be here. It just needs to be inside. Oh my goodness. Okay, guys, to let the glue dry before I continue, change the battery. I'll be right back. So, welcome back. <clears throat> it's not dry. Okay. Oh, there's a birdie outside. Hi. Hello, birdie. Just placing this on top. Press, 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 press. There. And now the last part. This front, <laughs> so we have to apply it to here. And this is going here. I'm going to apply glue on those flaps. These things. There you go. There, we did it. Now for those who think that when you have to close it, you have to close it like this, but it doesn't, okay? 
this is how you close it. It doesn't completely, so you still will need to have a neat sticker for that to close. And that's for obvious reasons here, right? Okay, and now this is the position. You move this a bit forward so it's aligned with this. Push it a bit forward, and once you have it in position, just have to look from the side. It doesn't have to be precise. You know, it's okay to see a bit of that panel over there. Be nice if it's aligned. So position it first. In there. Okay. Oh, okay, my glue wasn't dry there yet. So I just have to wait for the glue to dry. Here on this side, the back. Have you guys seen this little mermaid? Everybody's talking about it. It's like still everywhere. I thought it was fun. Entertaining. Just flounder. What happened to flounder? <laughs> That's the only thing. Oh no, flounder. What did they do to you? Again, like I showed you, I'm positioning it. But it doesn't seem to. There. Once you have it in position, make sure it's. Press, 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 press. Let's look from all angles. up a bit like in here oh, there goes my mask and I'm gonna put it down and it's not straight <laughs> So really look from this side. There you go. Okay, I need my bamboo skewer. I like this. I'm just getting it. So, and that's done. I'm gently close it. The paper is still a bit stiff. Oh, we need to. I'm afraid my friends that we have to put it back. No. Oh. Let me just try. Yeah. Okay. We need to put it back. This this can't be aligned with the sides. Because it still needs to close. We just have to do it all the way back. And this is why I always have to watch the tutorial first. Do you learn from my mistakes? And it doesn't have to be as messy as this. And if you haven't, then yeah, I don't know. Then you don't want to read. Okay, so that's how we have this tag. This will just 
do something simple. You can do it any color you would like. You can watch the tutorial while you're cutting. There you go. I really need the glue stick because this is goes so much easier with glue stick instead of this. Oh well. If you don't have a glue stick then you just have to do this. Just place this on top. Let me check in front of me. And there you go, my friends. This glue will dry up, don't worry. Just made a mistake this tutorial. That's okay. Because now it goes properly. On top of each other. You see that? And you can either place a sticker here. Right? And open it up. Separately. Put money in there. You can put thingy. I need to apply glue on the other side because it doesn't close. I don't know what happened. Probably when I tried to. Happens to you. Hope it doesn't. So, can't open it again this time. Just need to let that dry. Again, you can make this in any color you would like. You can make this for a boy, you can make this for a girl. You can make this for a baby, bridal shit. Oh no, it's happy birthday. For kids. For adults. Don't mind the glue. It'll dry. Don't see a thing. And that was it. Isn't she fun? Right? So, hope you're making this one with me. Thank you again so much. And, um, yeah, if you're new, um, and you're not a member yet of the Mesa Gregoria group, please consider joining us. You may share your creations there for fun or for the monthly freebie. Um, for June 2023, we have the African Daisy, a Spider Daisy. And if you have bought it, I'm sure we'll have a new freebie for the month. 
and now you're on YouTube, please make sure to subscribe. Thank you so much. And uh, on Instagram, please follow me there as well. And let me see. Yeah, and if you're going to share it on Instagram, please make sure to tag me. I really would love to see your creations. And when sharing on Facebook and on groups you are in, um, and people ask where it's from, uh, you don't have to mention my name. I don't want you to get in trouble. Really, I sincerely don't. But what you could do is say just you got it from Etsy and um, share the fine name. That, uh, the, yeah, the name of the product. That's, that's it. Here you go. Hope you had fun. Thank you so much. And subscribers, I will see you in week two with um, the flowers. Flowers, flowers, which I will make for um, the... How do you call that? Oh, which was requested. Bridal's... Uh, the, the one that was just requested was double, doubles peria wreath or double wreath peria or something and um, I'm, I plan to do two I have the um, what was it called again? bridal wreath peria and the double bridal wreath peria two totally two different flowers so here you go, this is for week one. Um, well, obviously if you have purchased this one, then you only get this one if you purchase it. I just wanted to show that for week June, week one, you guys will be receiving this. And if you've ordered this, we also have this one. And if you order this, we also have that one. And I'm actually thinking of um, turning this one into a bridal cake too and just put lovely design up there right we'll see about that. so thank you again so so much and i um, hope you enjoyed week one we had a lot of fun making them and looking forward to seeing your creations in our group see you next week ciao ciao